Good morning, all. Um, I'm going to briefly uh, introduce the Hydrographic Office and then move on to our new data portal. Um, the UK Hydrographic Office is a, uh, a leading centre for hydrography, providing marine geospatial information for maritime decisions. Our product portfolio includes a comprehensive range of digital and paper products, from, from navigation charts to supporting literature. In addition to supplying products, we also hold a wide ranging data from seabed to surface, such as tidal data, navigation hazards, light information, port information, climatic conditions, radio communications, and much more. All this enables our customers to make better use of the constantly changing marine environments and unlock a deeper understanding of the world's oceans. In order to foster a wider uptake of our data holdings, and in conjunction with the uh, Geospatial Commission, we have a new portal from which to serve this data. Here follows a very brief introduction. The, uh, the portal is accessed through a website with a user login, um, and then clicking through the uh, data sets tab brings you here. Now, the, uh, the bathymetry layer is a 100 meter grid, which includes bottom qualities and contours for the UK uh, exclusive economic zone only. Maritime limits is for the UK, the crown dependencies and overseas uh, territories with United Nations conventions for law of the sea. Uh, ships, ship routing measures are uh, traffic separation schemes. The offshore infrastructure includes oil and gas, surface and subsurface, wind farm surface structures, pipelines, and safety zones created by a statutory instrument. Uh, tidal data, we have three levels for, for tidal data. Um, the first is Easy Tide website. Um, it's been out for a few years now, giving free predictions for up to a week ahead. We have a bespoke tidal prediction service, which is chargeable. And then there's the UK Tidal API. Um, allowing uh, users to embed our tidal data into their own websites. Um, this is complementary for up to 10 requests a second or 10,000 per month and then is chargeable from there onwards. Further details through the website. Uh, PEXA is the UK Ministry of Defence practice and exercise areas and that includes not just the naval but Air Force and Army areas as well. And then going forward what we're hoping to release soon are live and charted wrecks, and then also VORF, which is the vertical offshore reference frame for geodetic reference. Most of our data sets are accessed through a web app. Um, so navigating to vaguely where you want to be, and then clicking through the polygon that is the area of interest you think you need. Uh, you can then download the complete metadata and also the data set itself all within that one uh, that one portal. Um, and then just very briefly talk about licensing. Um, all the data sets I've mentioned so far are available through the Open Government License. Um, we do have some richer data sets which are available under a data exploration license. This is uh, through the Geospatial Commission and therefore the general terms are similar as with the other five partaking organisations. Um, the richer data sets, yeah, uh, I can't really release any licence details here, but please, um, there is more on the website, and also, also contact our customer services division, who will be able to give you a little more information there. Um, and I think, yeah, the website is there. Um, I'm here all day, as is Laura, so please come talk to us, and um, I'll, that's, uh, that's me done. Thanks for listening.